Welcome back to the At Home with Roby Show. I'm Ashley Davis along with Trent Haston. We're your hosts. We're glad you're spending your Sunday morning with us. Whether you're in the car or on the couch, you're always at home with Roby. Visit us today at andrewroby.com. That's Andrew, R-O-B-Y dot com. So Trent, great conversation today. We're talking about the Symphony Guild of Charlotte's signature event. It's the second annual Heart of the Home Kitchen Tour. We're still joined, by the way, with by Mary, Mary Staten and Barbara Copald. They are the co-chairs for this event. And let's just reset for everybody that maybe wasn't listening earlier. The event is October the 17th, but let's talk about a little more specifics, tickets, what's going to happen, what they're going to experience that day. Okay, well, I think first of all, we'd like to just mention that Maestro Christopher Warren Green and his wife are the honorary chairs for the event this year. So that's just so huge for what? Us. Let me ask you, I know how this works. What <laughs> meeting did y'all miss to become co <laughs> chairs? <Okay. laughs> We we're, were still asking. Y'all need better yeah. attendance. Yeah. <laughs> keep, keep you out of hot Show water. Show up, sit in the back. That's, that's how you right. get out of there. That's really cool happen. that the maestro and his wife are, are the honorary, honorary chairs. chairs. That's yeah, fantastic. We're quite honored to have yes, them as are. our chairs. That's great. So, uh, yeah, October 17th, one day only, 10 until 4 p.m. Uh, tickets are at our website, symphonyguildcharlotte.org. Click on events. Or this year we have four ticket outlets. Uh, Plaza Midwood is Bistro Laban. We have OG, OGGI Restaurant in Ballantyne. We have All of This in Blakeney. And we have uh, Bliss. A Bliss, Bliss. Bliss in uh, Founders Hall. So you can buy your tickets at any one of those All great locations. Places. You can go in, have a bite, have a glass of wine, exactly. get a ticket, All get prepared the for the event. All, All the way around, around the city. Mm-hmm. No right. reason not to go to this. Exactly. And there are eight, eight, eight homes, right? Spread eight around homes, a couple spread different neighborhoods. Myers Park. It, uh, five in Myers Park, three in the South Park area. So it's a self-guided tour. You just take the day and start wherever you want and uh, continue on. Yeah, versus the old, uh, I mean, I went to multiple parties and we did, we used to donate work. We'd like work on a bathroom or something at mm-hmm. the, at the mm-hmm. show house right. every year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think for like 10 or 15 years, we, we did something you for did. it and we you would did. go to... Uh, a party at the show house with the guild and, and I know that ran for a couple weeks so if you couldn't make the specific day you could go another day but what I love about this versus that once you saw that house first off nobody was living in the house okay mm-hmm. which is a little uh I don't know a little too too clean for me I, I like to get down and dirty and see how people live uh <clears throat> My wife says her grandfather, all he ever, all he ever did when he drove around was was break his neck looking at how high the corn, his neighbor's corn, his competitor's <laughs> corn was. I do the same thing with houses, so I think this is cool because you get the variety. You're going to have the entertainment. You're going to have the food. You're going to get to see m- talented musicians while you're at the house, and then. And then you get to walk into the master, master bedroom and see what's going on. No, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> now, those are always ribboned off. Yeah. No, 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 I'm kidding. No, but you do get to walk, you know, you get to approach the right. house. You get to see how the house sits in the neighborhood. You get to see neighborhoods that you might not typically drive through unless you're Trent Haston and, and you're trying to get to South Park Mall. My wife's like, it takes you two hours to get to South Park Mall, and we pass eight Roby signs. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other thing also is you'll get to see some fabulous cars because Foreign Cars Italia Maserati is one of our uh, sponsors. Oh, so nice. he will have uh, a signature car at each one of the homes. And, oh, you, wow. and you can take a seat. You in can the car take too. a seat. Actually, uh-huh. one of our homeowners is from England, so he asked for an Aston Martin. and he, his Is there a donation been level at which you can take a, <laughs> take a drive in one of those cars? Right? Cause that could... Last year, they let you sit in them and take photos oh, inside okay. them. And yeah. they actually had them at the prelude party as well. Yeah, they sure did. Let me tell you, Ash, if if they if you let them run credit on you, they'll let you go around the block. <laughs> and a driver's license. You have to leave a copy of that at the front Yeah, door. yeah. So tell us real quick, we talked about the event. Let's kind of backtrack. We talked about it in the earlier segment, but anybody that wasn't with us, what's the money go to and, and what's the real cause for this event? I know it's a lot of fun to see houses and kitchens, but uh, tell us a little bit about who benefits from the event. Well, our mission is volunteers supporting today's symphony and tomorrow's musicians. And so, obviously, that is the Charlotte Symphony Orchestra, which has been in business for eight or eight decades or more. Uh, just an incredible part of our community and the social fabric, the cultural fabric. So we want to keep the symphony going. And then youth music education, uh, the symphony orchestra has two, or- two youth orchestras. Um, every summer, we have a summer camp 
It's at Converse College. A hundred little musicians, young musicians, go there. We're the only guild in the country that completely uh, sponsors this camp. We pay for all of it. But the the beauty of that camp is that one third of the kids' rehearsal time for the whole year is it happens in that week, and that's where they bond with the um, symphony orchestra musicians. It's where they learn their pieces that they're going to be performing all year, uh, and they bond with each other. And these are kids from every school, every part of the region, and it's a great way for them to bond. So we do that, and then in the fall we have a mini camp in town for the for the beginning orchestras, the junior youth orchestra. So. Um, those are just two ways, the symphony and the youth orchestras, and then we do a lot of um, public education about the power of music and the importance of it. So let me ask you, uh, are, are, do kids go on the tour? Like, could I bring my kids? Uh, <clears throat> over eight. Over eight, over eight. okay. Because, you know, what, what happens when they're younger, they touch things or they, Oh, I understand. You know, you I know. understand. <laughs> <completely>. <laughs> or the, you know, they have a blowout or whatever. Happens. What if I put them on a leash? <laughs> <laughs> no, my youngest daughter, the third of my daughter's uh, Piper, she thinks when she grows up, she wants to be a doggy. So my wife actually got her a real nice fluffy dog bed, and sometimes she sleeps <laughs> on the dog bed. It's really cool. That's so hilarious. we got all these little dog leashes that they pin, <laughs> no. they pin to, on, on the back like a passy pin, right. uh-huh. and they pin them on the back of my son, yeah. Ford, who's eight months old, <laughs> and uh, he is their pet. So. Oh, love it. Oh, love okay, it. let's get back then to the Then he breaks out the violin. <laughs> 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 Yeah, folks, if you're just t- tuning in, you're listening to the At Home with Roby show. We're talking about the Symphony Guild's Heart of the Home Kitchen Tour, Saturday, I'm sorry, Saturday, October the 17th. It's a great day. Get more information and tickets at symphonyguildcharlotte.org. It's a, you know, I didn't, I didn't realize that the camp happened, but we talked uh, earlier, we were kind of talking off the air a little bit about how music education is, that's the first thing they cut from school. So these camps, these events, this money where it goes. I know when I was a kid, I grew up, I played in the orchestra. It taught me an appreciation for not just music, but for the arts. And that's something that's really missing, and that's what you guys are trying to give back. Well, I think also what it does, I mean, there is a relationship between academic um, skills, what you learn through music, but also it teaches you performing in front of an audience. It teaches you confidence. I mean, and then the other thing is just like with me, I, I took voice growing up. I, I knew all my recital pieces. I yeah. still sing them sometimes if I'm out working in the yard or I'm doing something in the house. So it's those things that stay with you throughout your life. That, that's, that's a really good part of it. And, and one other thing, uh, you know, we're all kind of voyeurs. We, we, do, we are interested in how other people live. We are interested to see how people express themselves in what better way than a home as to who lives there and, and what, they, what they believe in and what they, what they uh, value. And all these homes are people that value the home place. They value their families. And most people are saying, we, w- we remodeled our kitchen because we want our families to enjoy being together and enjoy that space. So that's another cool thing about it. You're seeing the trends and the way that families are creating space in their homes. Man, I learned something today. So now, next time my wife tells me to stop rubbernecking, I, I'm baby, <laughs> baby, I'm a voyeur. <laughs> so, uh, no, I think it's cool too. And I think when I think when kids, just like with the language, I think hopefully the kids that go go to full immersion and, and with music and, and the arts, when you learn one, then you're more susceptible and diverse and open to learn others just by nature, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't start playing the snare drum till the sixth grade, and it, I didn't last till the seventh grade. So. <laughs> But yeah, was, but it, it created those neural pathways in your brain. That's right. You know, appreciate rap. It was a short but auspicious career you had. <laughs> they let me play the bass drum occasionally, <laughs> but I was so little. <laughs> okay, once again, it's symphonyguildcharlotte.org. You can get all the information about the second annual Heart of the Home Kitchen Tour. It's Saturday, October the 17th. There are locations around Charlotte. You can get tickets. Go to the website. Find that out. Buy them online. It was it was such a pleasure to have you all here. I really appreciate the invite, or appreciate the, the fact that you were here. When we come back, we're going to be joined by um, one of the clients of ours and one of the homeowners whose kitchen is on the tour. We're going to talk right. about the other side of this. And by the way, I think you can sing us out the break. I just heard you have no, a no, voice no, in your no, opinion. No, no, no. Unfortunately, I became a cheerleader. I, 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 and think, I, I think you'd be much better than Eric Church. <laughs> but don't tell Trent that. <laughs> I'm all about the art. All right. All right. Uh, thanks so much. We're going to come back in a few minutes. Stay with us. You're listening to the At Home with Roby show. We'll be right back.